Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. Well, the United States government has passed a stimulus package and they are pledging $1,200 to $2,400 for a married couple plus more with some income limits. But let's say there's $1,000 that you could earmark towards precious metals. Would you put it into gold or silver? So the current spot price of gold is $1,628, while the current spot price of silver is sitting at $14.43. So with $1,000 and forgetting about premiums, this would get you 0.61 ounces where this would get you 69 ounces so to keep it simple and because we're not 14 year olds or maybe we are we're just going to round that to 70 ounces so with a thousand dollars forgetting premiums because that's a, a separate topic and we're just trying to visualize something you could have 0.61 ounces of gold or 70 ounces of silver. I'm going to show you in physical metal what these two look like. And then I'll talk about what my choice would be. But not only that, if you stick to the end, I did a poll with this very question. You can find out what a hundred of your fellow stackers viewed as the choice that they would likely make. All right, so that's about 112 to 1 ratio between silver and gold. So if you wanted to figure out 70 ounces of silver versus 0.6 ounces of gold, you could start with 10 ounce bars. So let's visualize the difference between the two. So I totally get that given some inflow of money, some families will have to think hard about stocking their pantry or making their truck payment or keeping the rent or mortgage paid. But this is just a fun exercise to see what you would do with a thousand dollars in found money. So there's 20 ounces of bars. Now this is a tube of silver maples. So the silver maples come in a tube of 25. So here's 25 ounces of those. So there's 25 ounces of that. So up to 45 ounces, I target 70. Each $10 face of 90% silver is about seven ounces. So it would take $35 face to get another 25 ounces. So 20, 25, 25. So here's 70 ounces. That's about a thousand dollars. So this is a thousand dollars worth of silver, ignoring the premiums, which are an important distinction, but we're just trying to simplify this. Or 0.6 ounces of gold. So 0 0.6 ounces of gold, it's about $1,000 worth of gold at spot. Okay, so let's see what my poll says, and then I will share my answer. If you could put $1,000 from a U.S. stimulus check towards precious metals, what would you buy or other category? Comment below. So 132 responses. All gold, 27%. All silver, leading the way with 39%. 50-50, gold and silver, 14%. Or 80-20, with mostly gold, some silver. Or 80-20, mostly silver, some gold. So if you take the 50-50 off the table, it's pretty close. 37% either wanting all gold or mostly gold. Or 49 wanting all silver or mostly silver. So a little leaning towards silver. Let's see specific responses. 
I think most people don't understand that gold is really a good buy right now too, says Fiat Destroyer. Central banks are buying gold right now. Price is going to shoot up far more than silver, which may even drop in price due to less industrial demand. Go for gold. Cloud Tribe, $1,000 won't even get you an ounce of gold anyways. I'd put it all in silver. Scott thinks, a half ounce of gold, 10 ounces of silver. If prices hold. Silver Limey, a different tact. Platinum and silver, my two picks. American Stacker, I'd buy gold and silver right now. You see how the price has disconnected from the markets, and I see that as a clear sign of the fuse being lit. Cash is on full print mode right now, so the price isn't going to back down. Buy what you can while you can. And I totally understand this. Nightmare Coins, I would buy food, especially in this crisis. Metals have to wait. 100% understand. J. Corona, Platinum, if I could find some. If the premiums were normal, I would probably grab some Platinum, then Silver. Otherwise, I'm leaning towards cash right now. Tough one to figure out, but I need more gold, to be honest. Let's do this. I'm shouting you out on a pre-recorded video at this very moment. Thank you, Salivate Metal. And Silver Bar, at the moment, with premium so high, I'd stack cash for now. I'd be in the camp of the 80-20, 80, mostly gold. So in a perfect world, if the spot price and the premiums were just a little bit different, I'd go for a half ounce of gold and a 10 ounce bar from the Royal Canadian Mint. There's a big difference between spot price and coin price. Recently, a one ounce gold coin was listed for $1,800. If you'd like to learn more about that, please click on our featured video.